Welcome back to Soccer News Center, where we bring you the latest updates from the world of football. Today, we're discussing the rise of Newcastle United and their potential to disrupt the established order of the Premier League's Big Six. Last season, Newcastle made a statement with their top four finish and Champions League qualification. They faced resistance in the transfer market and criticism from rival managers, but their success on the pitch couldn't be denied. And it seems their arrival has caused quite a stir among the established clubs. In a recent incident, the Newcastle delegation was met with a frosty reception at a rival club's director's lounge. One opposition director refused to shake hands, a clear sign of hostility. It was an awkward moment, but also a sign that the English football's established order is under threat. For over a decade, we've referred to the big six in the Premier League Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, and Tottenham. These clubs have dominated the top four finishes and cup competitions, creating a seemingly impenetrable hierarchy. But now, Newcastle is challenging that dominance. With their new Saudi Arabian owners, Newcastle has the financial backing to become a true force in English football. They have quickly risen from the relegation zone to Champions League qualification, surpassing expectations. And this season, they will be competing among Europe's elite. But can Newcastle truly upset the established order? It won't be easy. Their progress on the pitch has outstripped their spending, unlike Chelsea and Manchester City's aggressive investments after their takeovers. Newcastle has made significant signings, but they still have a long way to go to match the financial power of the big six. Furthermore, there are concerns about Newcastle's ownership and their ties to the Saudi Arabian government. The club's commercial deals and player transfers have raised suspicions, leading to calls for further scrutiny. The Premier League has already implemented new rules to ensure fairness in future transactions. Despite these challenges, Newcastle's rise is undeniable. They finished above three of the big six clubs last season and have set their sights on top four finishes and trophies. But can they replicate Manchester City's success? The competition in the Premier League is stronger than ever and Newcastle will face financial restrictions. There are also questions about the PIF's focus on the Saudi Pro League and how it might impact Newcastle. So far, they have targeted younger players, while the Saudi clubs go for big-name signings later in their careers. But that could change as both parties' strategies evolve. Ultimately, Newcastle's success will depend on their ability to challenge the established order consistently. They have the potential for growth and the ambition to become a dominant force. And that's what worries the big six the most. They fear Newcastle could disrupt the closed shop and change the dynamics of the Premier League. In the end, only time will tell if Newcastle can truly become the big seven. But for now, they have made their mark and are ready to take on the established order. Stay tuned for more updates on Newcastle United and the Premier League.